Okay, so good morning. Today's class is on Kindle. And in last class, possibly we have spoken about uh, Orientalism, then the representation of India, then the representation of Nepal. Uh, I think all these things have been uh, spoken about. And today, uh, then, then, then I had I had also spoken about the magic. That is, while speaking about Orientalism, I also spoke about magic. Thing. Then another thing I would like to add on this round before going to our next topic. Mm. Let us think about the use of supernatural. Let us think about it. Uh, just you see, I am going to present uh, the screen to you. Just look at this. Look at this portion uh, from the first thing is that. A letter comes. Okay. A letter comes, and then uh, a letter comes from China to Tintin. Uh, and then Suddenly, they comes to know from the newspaper about the Nepal air disaster. And next, where is it? Yeah, look at this place. If you even uh, had seen, if you even had seen or watched uh, the movie, then you could find it. Here, look at this portion. Tintin is almost sleepy while he is playing the game of chess with Captain Haddock. And he shouts Chang and everyone is dismantled. Everything is like uh, uh, there is a sudden shock to everyone, the way he shouts, and as if he had heard a call from Chang. Okay, and look what he's saying that yes, I was dreaming about Chang. You remember Chang, the uh, boy I met friends with in China. I saw him, it was ghastly. Okay, uh, so. He was lying there, heart half buried in snow. He was holding out his axe and calling to me. So, uh, the first thing is that you, you just look at this. The first thing that I want to mention is he had received a letter, then he has read in the plane, uh, in the newspaper about the plane crash. The very next thing is he dreams about Chen. Okay, uh, or, or rather, uh, the first he dreams about Chen, uh, he's from the newspaper, and then the letter arrives. Sorry. And, uh, you know, Tintin suddenly starts believing that Chen is uh, rather uh, alive. The first thing we find that there is this thing in the paper, uh, and then uh, yes, uh, the tragic uh, delay is Chang Chong Chen, the victim of the tragic delay is Chang. Uh, Aeroplane son of Mr. Wang. So first they comes to know about the aeroplane disaster, then he dreams about Chang, and then suddenly uh, the news confirms of Chang's death. And Tintin is uh, not 
ready to believe that Chang has died in that pen crash, and he is ready to go. He is ready to move. In search of Chang, he is ready to undertake an adventure, even uh, to Nepal or even to the deadliest snowy parts of Himalaya. So, if you place these three things properly. Those are very much coincidental, you know. Uh, like, uh, have you read any of uh, Thomas Hardy? Uh, if you haven't, then there, the, in Thomas Hardy's novels, uh, there are practically so many instances where uh, chance and coincidence matters very much. And here we find, in this uh, book, uh, there is a significant, a very significant use of uh, the concept of chance and coincidence. The first thing that happened in the paper, they read the news about a plane crash. Then suddenly Tintin dreams about, uh, suddenly, Tintin, uh, suddenly Tintin started dreaming about uh, Chang. And then the news comes, then a letter comes from Chang. And then also the news comes. So, or in the newspaper they find about Chang. And Tintin is no more ready to believe that Chang is dead. Because he is not ready to believe that these are mere coincidences, you know, that a letter comes from Chang, then uh, he dreams about Chang, and therefore he thinks that these are practically nature's uh, indication that Chang has not died. And you know what we call it, practically we call it in other terms, telepathy, connection between minds. Okay, connection between minds. Uh, like, you know, <laughs> there is a very, uh, very, very important reference. Uh, you have uh, read because the telepathy is a very much, uh, you know, oriental thing. Uh, telepathy is a very much oriental philosophy. Uh, the first reference of it was possibly in Mahabharata. Can anyone tell me where, where in Mahabharata we have the instances of telepathy? Can anyone? Okay, let me tell you. It was Bidur. You have, uh, when you have read Mahabharata, or I will ask you to read Mahabharata, uh, there is an instance. This is Vidura. What did Vidur do? You know, Vidur was with Dhritarashtra, uh, and uh, he was not in the world front. And Dhritarashtra, Vidur was Durdarshi, you know, and literally he was Durdarshi. He could see uh, anything that was happening, uh, even miles apart from him. Okay, and therefore he could just see what was happening in uh, the Purukshetra war, and uh, he could narrate. He could narrate that to Dhritarashtra directly. Okay, so Dhritarashtra was updated regarding the warfare from Vidur. And it was said in Mahabharata that Vidur could see. But however, I interpret it in a very different way. I interpret it as Vidura's uh, buying system was very effective. And that uh, each and every day, he spied the war and his men would tell her, would narrate him what happened there in detail. And therefore, uh, I, 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 I find it very interesting that Vidura men in both the uh, both the sides, you know, who were informing him about the warfare, about what everyone was doing, because most of the uh, part of warfare has been narrated in Mahabharata from the point of view of Vidura, who was watching it from uh, like a bird's eye view, you know, and uh, from the above. Uh, however, let it go in that way, but Telepathy, but what, what we uh, another uh, another bunch of critics uh, they interpret it as Vidura's very effective capability of telepathy. Okay, uh, and here also 
we find that tin tin can listen or tin 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 can listen the call of chang where where chang asked him to save him okay and this is a sheer uh, example of telepathy and it is obviously a supernatural thing it is obviously telepathy is not a supernatural power telepathy is obviously uh, sorry telepathy is uh, not a natural power but it is obviously a supernatural power in the next uh, mention of supernatural is uh the case comes with the lama yes look okay here the lama can just see the future this lama is possessed and uh, you know this lama can see the future and even he can elevate himself in the air so look at this look at this part this portion is also a supernatural mention here okay here we can find a supernatural mention and this is not the first time beforehand he had also predicted coming of tin tin okay uh, where it is it is like yes look blessed lightning ascends into the air he is going to have another vision so this lama who is called the blessed lightning uh he can foresight the coming of tintin and his companions so here in both cases supernatural has been used these are the two cases where supernatural has been used first number was that ashe on a chuman and uh, these supernatural things are very interestingly used in positive manner as if uh these powers are given by god or these powers are given by nature and these powers are meant uh, to save others okay in both cases in first instance it was tintin who received the message in the form of telepathy and he was convinced that, that he needed to go and save chan so supernatural made him do something that was needed in this part this lama blessed lightning foresighted the coming of tintin and the snowball that is snowy and captain hader into the monastery and uh, they had also uh, rather uh, foresighted that they will be uh, this these people will be utterly in need of their help okay on the other hand huh? मैंने Vidur is also narrating what the people are thinking. Also, the Mahabharata narrative that Bharat Devi Vidur is not only uh, narrating what is happening from outside, but he is also uh, looking at it from the inside. Either mind or read book. So whether the power has been given or the power comes from nature, but what is being done is telepathy. That is reading or connecting with another people's mind. Okay. मेन जिनिटेंट जड़िए
প্রপার সায়েন্টিফিক সাইকোলজিক্যাল বা টেলিপ্যাথি কে মানে না বরং এটাকে একটা এক্সসেপশনাল কেস হিসেবে ধরে যে অনেক সময় হতে পারে যে তোমার প্রচন্ড কাউকে মনে করছেন দ্যাট দ্যাট ভেরি মানে দ্যাট ভেরি পারসন অসুর নাকি এন্ড কলস ইউ দ্যাট ওকে তোমার কাছে তো ফোন করি এটাকে তুমি টেলিপ্যাথি বলতে পারো বাট এটাকে কিন্তু প্রপার সায়েন্টিফিক সাইকোলজি বলছে এটা একটা কোইনসিডেন্স বোঝা গেল কিন্তু প্যারাসাইকোলজি দ্যাট ইজ দ্যাট বিলিভস আ বিট অফ সুপারন্যাচারাল সুপারন্যাচারাল কে এখানে সুপারন্যাচারাল হিসেবে দেখা হয় না এখানে বলা হয় সুপারন্যাচারাল ইজ দোজ পার্ট অফ দ্য নেচার ন্যাচারাল থিংস হুইচ আর ইয়েট টু বি এক্সপ্লেইন সায়েন্টিফিক্যালি সায়েন্টিফিক্যালি এখনো যেগুলো ব্যাখ্যা আমরা দিতে পারিনি কিন্তু ভবিষ্যতে দিতে পারবো এই রকম একটা জিনিসকে বলা হয় সুপার মানে প্যারাসাইকোলজি ক্ষেত্রে সুপারন্যাচারালের কনসেপ্ট এটা and তাতে করে কিন্তু ওরা টেলিপ্যাথিটাকে অ্যাকসেপ্ট করে এরা বলছে এরও আমরা ভবিষ্যতে ব্যাখ্যা পাবো যেটা এখনো পাই ওরা টেলিপ্যাথিটাকে অ্যাকসেপ্ট করে ঠিক আছে প্রপার সাইকোলজি কিন্তু এখনো টেলিপ্যাথি অ্যাকসেপ্ট করে নি বোঝা গেল হ্যাঁ স্যার ওকে সো লেট মি কন্টিনিউ উইথ দিস সো देयर আর থ্রি ইনস্ট্যান্সেস অফ সুপারন্যাচারাল বিইং ইউজড ওয়ান্স দা টেলিপ্যাথি সেকশন নেক্সট দিস ওয়ান দা ব্লেসড লাইটনিং uh for citing about tintin's arrival at the monastery and then the blessed lightning giving them clue ke wo mic ta on kore rekheche she to mute kor dal ei ko aste so next the blessed lightning giving uh tintin the clue about chang that is uh at this place okay the horn of yak sir ha uh, सर बोल रहे हैं तो महाभारत का विदुर और तिंटिन टेबेट का ये ब्लेस लाइटनिंग सिमिलर रोल प्ले कर रहा है नो 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 व्हाट विदुर वाज डूइंग वाज विदुर वाज कंटीन्यूअसली विदुर कुड रिलेट कंटीन्यूअसली व्हाट वाज हैपनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड माने दैट मींस आई वाज जस्ट सेइंग दैट विदुर कुड आल्सो फोरसी बट दिस मैन दिस मैन ही डिडंट हैव दैट पावर in his conscious uh, uh, you know existed rather when this man the blessed lightning would acquire the power of supernatural he would be in his subconscious like he could not remember what he had said while he was possessed by the power bole jacche bidurer kichcha kintu seta chilo na bidur could uh, use the power consciously whereas this blessed lightning could not do it could not control it only but data ekhane bola hocche the power would use him as a uh, uh, it's a medium to transfer what it had to say okay bojha gelo dutto kintu alada it is the amikali instances dicchi je dutto mane jemon amader mahabharate bidurer kotha bola ache je durer jinis bolte pare ekhane ei rokom er kotha bola ache kintu dujoner execution kintu onek alada one can consciously do it and here the blessed lightning can not consciously do it even for tintin tintin o kintu consciously eta korte parche hota hota kore hocche jinish ta bujhte parchis yes sir difference is in the application i was just comparing the two characters having different magical abilities but uh, the application of the power the nature of the power are very different okay এটা মাথায় রাখতে হবে তো দিস আর দা সুপারন্যাচারাল থিংস হুইচ আর ইউজড ইন দিস টেক্সট এই তিন জায়গায় সুপারন্যাচারালের ইউজ আমরা পাচ্ছি এখানে ঠিক আছে এর পরে যে কনসেপ্টটা আসবে সেটা হচ্ছে দা কনসেপ্ট অফ ফ্রেন্ডশিপ এই একটা টপিক আমাদের পড়তে হবে আর কি কিছু পড়ার আছে এখান থেকে না কোথায় সো प्रैक्टिकल कंडीशन ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम यू नो I have told you how Harj was suffering in a dilemma. In spite of becoming a devout Christian, you know that according to uh, Christianity, uh, during that time, or rather even now, only one marriage is acceptable in Bible. 
Okay, only one marriage is acceptable by the uh, because he was a uh, devout uh, Christian. It took into hardship, kache. Man, divorce ka legally kora jaye. Divorce ka tumi socially korte paro, legally korte paro, and tumi no tum bhiye legally korte paro. Legality is a different thing. Polygamy is legality ache. Into pata hoche ki monogamy, or rather uh, activity it took into religion approved and uh, harsh was a devout christian and therefore when uh, in spite of having a wife harsh was getting derived by another woman harsh was getting distracted by another woman and the destruction was so strong you know that ultimately he was uh, bound he was bound or rather uh, he had to, he could not neglect that destruction and he married another woman. He was satisfied. I didn't say that he was satisfied, with, he was not satisfied with that relationship. No, he, he gave her, he socially, legally divorced the uh, previous wife and married another woman. But uh, the thing was that as a Christian, it was disturbing him at the core of his heart, you know, and as a result, he found that he soul needed to be saved, you know, the soul needed to be saved, and that is represented in thinking, and therefore these things, these supernaturals, as if they are welcome uh, notes or welcome blessings from the God or from the nature or from the surrounding or from the cosmos or from the universe, whatever you may term it. Uh, these were practically uh, given to those people who could help saving others. Okay, and practically Chang here represented uh, hearts, uh, victimized soul, and Tintin saved him. You know, Tintin was a grandchild of heart, and very differently. At this novel, we find that Tintin is not solely uh, becoming a political representation. In graphic novel, you will find that uh, from friendship, from being a personal Tintin, uh, the political Tintin is becoming much more important, and the political Tintin is overshadowing the other Tintin. But here, uh, more than political Tintin, we find a friend in Tintin, a human being in Tintin, which is much more in focus. Okay, and the reason behind this was Tintin had to save Chan, and in order to that, even uh, or rather, uh, by confirming that, uh, Haj would represent that his soul needed to be saved. Somehow it was a symbolical representation of that, and while Chang was saved, it gave a kind of satisfaction to her that his soul would be saved at least, or rather, uh, it was a symbolic representation of her's wish that his soul should be saved. Okay, so black supernatural uh, it becomes very interesting, it becomes very uh, thought provoking. Okay, so friendship friendship Let me have some water. Okay, so friendship a jagatai ele Amra Kotugulu friendship a canapai Konekulu layer a check and a friendship. The first layer of friendship that I act on Prothome mentioned, which obviously between Chang and Tintin, Jetani Amra Shobar Shesha. Okay. But J friendship gulo echarao ekhane aache. These are the friendship between 
Captain Haddock and Tintin. We know that at the very beginning, look at this one. Listen, Tintin, I can understand how grieved you are, and I realize how much that dream has shaken you. But you must be sensible. So look at this man, Captain Haddock. He doesn't want Tintin to go there because he knows that he uh, uh, climbing the Himalayas is one of the most difficult things and it's not a natural thing, uh, not a normal thing. Okay. Sir? Huh? Sir, I think Snowy and Tintin are going to be a good relationship. Yes, I'm going to be a good relationship. I'm going to be a good relationship. I'm going to be a good relationship. যেটা next slide you see two days later in new delhi captain is walking beside tintin and look at his face look at his face how disgusted he is first he cannot leave this boy alone for a journey so do you think it is mere friendship a mere relationship a mere professional adventurous relationship no this is something which is called bond Okay, this is something which is called bond. Okay. So these are very interesting things. And uh, you can you can see, you can see just not here. Uh Captain Kini only kitchu take the babu. Like uh Captain is a uh, is a very uh, although it is mouth is like rubbish but he is a man of a golden heart you know uh, he is ready okay look again at this page 14 so when nepal gie they are talking about where uh, chang has been lost and gaigata uh, kemon and then all right go but you are on your own i have trailed along this for thundering typhoons but i am not playing রেগেই বলছে তুমি একা ছেড়ে দাও রেগে বললেও ইটার মধ্যে কি ফুটো যদি তোমাকে একা ছেড়ে ধরে রেগে বললেও কিন্তু ভালোবাসা আছে মাউন্টেন হোয়াট হ্যাপেন ওয়েন দে ওয়ার ইন প্রবলেম হাউ ক্যাপ্টেন ওয়াজ ডেসপারেট ইন সেভিং টিনটিন ইউ নো ওয়েন দে থট দ্যাট টিনটিন ডায়েড টিনটিন হ্যাড ডায়েড হাউ ডেসপারেট ক্যাপ্টেন ওয়াজ for saving tintin and you know another thing is uh, while they were in trouble even one captain tried to cut his rope at this part look at this uh, look at this part you can understand yes look 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 you are talking nonsense better for one to die rather than two isn't it cut the rope tintin or jokhon tintin cut the bachche na all right i will do it myself get my knife and that's it cut off so look at this he can even sacrifice his life he can even sacrifice his life okay so these are the things these are the things even at this place uh, when uh, they had uh, learned from the thund blessed lightning about the horn of the year look at this uh, 
at this place also he is being accompanied uh, by captain again and uh, then you can find that when Tintin is inside the cave and the Yeti is upon Tintin. Captain doesn't hesitate to run, even only with a shovel. Okay, so that is the thing. He has always risked his life for this person. He has always risked his life. So that is the thing. That is the nature of friendship between Captain and Tintin. It is not only of a professional adventurous relationship. Uh, it is not only a mere friendship, you know. The bond is something better than that, where one can sacrifice his life for the other. Okay. There are emotional moments. Uh, there are moments of emotional uh, highs and emotional lows. Uh, there are uh, moments of, uh, I would say, we natu ke rag dekhan. You know, uh, dramatic melodramatic angers forged angers but at the core of each and every part there is love nothing but love okay then we can find the next that comes into my mind is what is suggested by Tonu Shri as well the relationship between Tintin and Snowy in the Bengali, Abrato Chotavala Tintin, the Banglai puts an electric spoon to Nam Chilu. You put the barbi, Banglai, Snowin Nam Kitchen. Good, good, good. So you are all aware about it. So you, you, you can look at this. Jethanis uh, Snowy is falling. Look. Look at this part. This is, this is a very interesting part. Where Snowy uh, is not only, uh, you know, not only uh, a dog, he is more than dog. Like, you can say, whenever, whenever he is with Tintin, Snowy can speak, Snowy has his own words. Snowy is not only a, uh, uh, represented with the abstract sounds, okay, with the dog sounds rather. Wow, 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 wow. Not like that. Uh, he has his words. Will he? Won't he? He will. Uh, that and that's uh, not worth watching. It. So you can even see Snowy has his own opinion. So the dog is not a mere dog. Okay, totally. I could do with the drink. Just lucky, a puddle of water. And then again, uh, funny, that water tasted or wretched animal. What do you think? So uh, look at this. These things, uh, there's good and bad consigns. Uh, the, the, the consigns of an angel and the consigns of the devil. So you can understand. Uh, these comes or these things are attributed to snowy, even the dog having his consigns good and bad and uh, you can you can you can see that these things are generally attributed to human beings isn't it these things are generally attributed to humans so uh, snowy kinto ekhane is not merely represented as a dog but a dog uh, having a conscience okay and uh, he has been given words Okay, he has been given words. That that is the very important thing about Snowy, and that shows that uh, Snowy has been portrayed here as not only as an animal but something closer to human being. And look at this: how uh, this dog accompanies Tintin even at the hardest places and even when he falls, look at Tintin's eagerness to save his dog. A male dog, Tintin risks his life in order to save him. And here we find the same thing. Uh, 
regarding Tintin, the dog risks his life, you know, in the snow. Okay, the dog risks his life in the snow. And, uh, you know, uh, Tintin was saved, Tintin was found uh, by Captain only because of this dog. And in the next moment, even uh, before they, uh, they, they uh, reached the monastery, there also we find the significant role played by Snowy. Uh, he, he gives the paper, or rather, uh, even when he loses the paper to have the bones, he reminds about Tintin, and then he dares to run to the monastery, even at the risk of being beaten by the Lama. You know, he knew that no one will understand his uh, girl or wa, but, uh, you know, uh, still he took a risk so that he could attract the attention of some people so that Tintin and Captain had a good reason. So, not only Tintin risked his life in order to save Snowy, but Snowy also risked his life in order to save not his master, you know, I would say his companion, never in the Tintin series. Uh, it has been uh, rather uh, found, or you will find that never Tintin has been shown as master of Snowy, you know. The bondage is rather a friendship. Tintin is uh, rather a friend. It is often deep way. If you, if you give an answer regarding uh, the relationship between Snowy and uh, Tintin, you have to show that it is not a mere relationship between a dog and his master, a dog becoming a lawyer, but a dog having conscience and a dog becoming a friend, you know. At the Kukur, I thought how loyal I was when I was in the Vipadashun or Marathok at the encouragement because his master is in danger. That becomes an encouragement, that becomes a motivation for him. Itak into friendship er moto bhalo shankar ko na holo na. Okay, so understand. Next, je shankar ko ta ashe, shita je thar ke. Look at it. He looked up, he is a sherpa. A climber. And, uh, what happens? He has been there or he is helping these two men, he is advising them good at every place, at every moment, uh, regarding climbing the Himalaya. While he sees that they land in the land of Yeti, Tarki is somehow African. You can understand that. Even Tarki uh, doesn't want to take the risk to continue his journey and leave. But the very important thing comes later. When he finds that Captain can sacrifice his life in order to save Tintin, suddenly he is reminded of his duty as a Sherpa. And he comes to rescue. Now tell me, this is the first time and also there was another time when Tharke took the risk to climb down uh, the cave in order to save him. Even you know that at, the, at that moment, Captain had done a silly thing which could even uh, just uh, make him remain there or make him uh, rather uh, die also in that. So, these uh, risking lives, uh, do you think this comes when the relationship is only professional? I don't think so. Harpe was inspired by the friendship that was between uh, Captain and Tim, uh, Captain and Tintin, and then he also became a friend to them. And we, you can understand, he accompanied them till he got a broken leg from where he could uh, not continue anymore. Uh, you could see in the monastery his uh, leg was plastered and he was so eager to continue till the end, but he could not. So this man, this Nepali man, is also another friend of him. 
and is inspired by the relationship of friends. Then comes Tintin's relationship with Cat. I had told you to read the text, The Blue Lotus. If you had read them, you would have found how Tintin met Cat. And there, once Tintin saved his life, and then later Cheng Chang saved Tintin's life. You can understand that how the bond grew. They were all diehard friends because they saved one another at time. And from that place, we can understand why Chang is so important to Tintin. And another thing is, they both are of the same age. And that's why they can, you know, Tintin is uh, rather, Tintin never believes that Chang can die in that way. You know? He had to die. Even uh, if uh, I think, this is my personal uh, uh, opinion regarding this text, that even if uh, this letter would, uh, I mean, uh, this, this caliphatic thing would never have happened, uh, when he would see the news in the paper or he would receive the letter, uh, telepathy, the Nahal or Tintin would have come to say, Chang, go close the relationship. And uh, you can understand uh, how deliberate Tintin was, how much risk he afforded, how much risk he took. Uh, even he risked his life war not once, but twice or thrice. Or rather, at every step, I would say he risked his life in order to save his friend Chang, in order to save his friend Chang, so you can understand how deep the friendship goes. Okay. And in the cave also, when Tintin first met Chang, Chang also said that he, he relied on Tintin, he knew that one day Tintin would come in order to save him if the news had reached him. So you can understand the trust, the mutual trust between the friends. And you can understand the risk that Tintin was, uh, and along with that comes the question that the same risk was taken by Captain Harrod, Harpe, and or rather Snowy. So this, all of them were ready to take risk for one another. Okay, for uh, Chang, it was Tintin. For Tintin, it was Harrod and Snowy. Okay, so everyone was ready, and uh, once it happened that uh, Tintin also was risking his life in order to save her. And so, therefore, it was a mutual risk taking, you know, that is the base of friendship that you, your life is dedicated for this relationship. And look at this, uh, Tharki, in spite of being not directly a friend to them. He was inspired by the sacrifices his friends were ready to make for one another, and he could not leave them. That was important, that was important, that was the thing, that was the thing that has wanted. Uh, spreading the idea of friendship, spreading the idea of risk. And at last, but not the least, there comes the relationship between Yeti and Tintin. So, uh, will anyone among you volunteer to speak about what you think about the representation of Yeti in this? Can any one of you just volunteer to speak out? To make you have to hear it, that you have a way to represent for other people. And to not keep the animal for a whole bit. Actor mainly animal is a bit. Ah. Or I'm going to do friendship and I'm going to do the next step of life. So, the friendship and I'm going to do the next step of life. I'm going to do the next step of life. I'm going to do the next step of life. एक जोन एनिमल्स होयो ताके मने गोटा वाल्डर कास्टे के दूरे सोरी रखे सेता निजेर काचे रखते चे चिलो एवं चंगे जोनो खाबारो नियास तो से। ओके सो आजकल क्लासेस एक तो अमरा एक तो उन्नरोकम भावे एक तो पढ़ाचना करेगा। 
আমি একটু প্রেজেন্টিংটা স্টপ করছি করে তোমাদের একটা ভিডিও দেখাবো ভিডিওটা তোমরা সাউন্ডও দেখতে পারবে আমি ইউটিউব থেকে দেখাবো দেখি যদি দেখানো যায় আই হোপ মাই Okay, can you watch this YouTube site? Yes, sir. Okay, now watch this video. Yes, sir. Okay, now watch this video. Yes, sir. After the animal dragged a child around its enclosure, the child had fallen into that enclosure. Officials are now defending their actions. ABC's Alex Perez has the latest from the Cincinnati Zoo. And we warn you, some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing. Alex? Hey, good morning, Robin. You know, the gorilla exhibit here remains closed, but I wanted to give you an idea of the height of that barrier that the child climbed over. This is a baby gate. The barrier was about this high, three feet tall. The image is jaw-dropping. Oh, my God! A 450-pound gorilla dragging around a three-year-old boy like a rag doll. This morning, the Cincinnati Zoo defending its decision to put down the 17-year-old endangered silverback named Harambe. That child's life was in danger, and people who question that. Okay, so look at this. We give you a clear question. Just look at this. দেখে কোথাও মনে হচ্ছে যে গরিলাটা বাচ্চাটাকে চট থাপ্পড় মারছে ওর হিজ থ্রাশিং দা বেবি আউট কোথাও মনে হচ্ছে কি যখনই বাঘের গা এরা সেটা করে কিন্তু যখন শিবার কাঁচায় পড়ে গেছে ভিডিওটা দেখা যাবে পরে যে ছেলেটা ঘাড় মোটকে মারা গেছে কিবা চড়ও মারেনি থাপ্পড়ও মারেনি মাংস খেয়ে কামড়ায় পড়ে ঘাড় মোটকে মরে গেছে যখন ছেলেটা পড়েছে তখন শিবা ওর কাছে আসতে গেছে ছেলেটা পড়ে গিয়ে না প্রচন্ড রিয়াক্ট করছিল ভয় পেয়ে গেছিল কাঁচায় পড়ে চোট পেয়েছিল উপর থেকে নিচে পড়ে অ্যান্ড দা টাইগার ট্রাই টু কাম তোমরা জানো চিড়িয়াখানার বাঘ কিন্তু ওই মাংস যেটা দেওয়া হয় সেটাই খায় দেয়ার ট্রেন্ড টু ইট ফ্রম দ্যাট দে দে আর নট ট্রেন্ড টু 
uh, just uh, hunt for their uh, food. You know, they, they forget to hunt for their food. So that tiger was trying to come to that man and uh, it was being, uh, you know, stoned. Pathor Lagi. And Dokun Pathor Gulu Chur Chedoke, the tiger tried to come and cover that boy. You know, when a Bojaja Chipuru, the Bakta Nija Pite Pathor Gulu Niche, Bakta Egavaro Dike, the Mane, Gato Tatachena, no for Tatachena, but Hath the Chelata the Jodi Adore at a booker. And you know, at the Bakir wait for it. Chiva Jodiata Shotorator Water, Ruba Patla Chelaka Jodi Adore. But the tiger doesn't know that. Bhakta to Ivavi react to Tokos. Look at this gorilla. Gorilla at a boy bache, Cheleta Niche, Poreje, who for a local of Ivavi react to Che. Gorilla to him to Cheleta Hathoche, okay, Kachini as a Chesta Goche, at the gorilla or baby thing to on a boro by Kamathara. Katekore when a reaction to gorilla or cacheta baby to no put shavi. We have a ten in the elegant to gorilla baby at the heart of our potana. Tiger and butcher, bone structure, ja, we have a jury to a bagger butcher in the Mureja or potana. In most of the cases, Amra Dekechi, they can a direct hunting for any European case full of the encounter. That had a che, Jay at a borrow, a large percentage of these were. A result of miscommunication between the uh, two species, you know. If we could understand their language, we could easily say to them, okay, I don't need your help. I am okay. And they are not disturbing, uh, they are not stoning me. Rather, they are stoning you, so you protect yourself. You do not need to come and protect me or I will die because you are so heavy. We, 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 we do not, we could not say that, we could not communicate this to the tiger. And the tiger was, or in that in this instance, the gorilla was uh, really trying to help out the people. From their own animal way, you know, Bhagto Bhad Dhori Bacha Gulo Ke Nye Jai. Bhagher Bhad Chamra Ta Oira Kumi Hai, Toh Oh Jodhi Thot Diye Chab Diye Nye Jai Ki Toh Hove Na. In the back, the Amar Pare was a Amar Chamra to Mutana. Tatakore of the people of the Tat was at the road for the Tulta Bible. And Tatakore that was a little one of the Gorilla Recta Bacha in a little Gorilla Racha Kitko and at a healthy or a physically stout and strong habit. But a human bone is fragile in front of or compared to a Gorilla baby bone, and therefore the human child dies. And Bachata Moreni, Bachata Kabacha. Gorilla take a merit of her. If a gorilla take a jetta, for out it chillo, tranquilize for out it chillo, she can take it. You know, Jara Volchi's generator class, I tell you one thing. You may just afford two or three minutes more or five minutes more. Ukaneje, Dosta Ponorosuma, join for a join, Hoven, I rope na. It's an
these animals are uh, not really prone to kill you know the same thing happened uh, with this case you know with with the yeti when the yeti found that none had survived but only chan and being a lonely animal he was eager and most probably chang chang belong to human being and he looked like an ape also because human beings are uh, primates obviously human beings are also apes so this primate the yeti obviously he is a mythological animal jokhon supernatural likhi tokhon ei point ta ekটু jure dis je the use of yeti uh, yeti is a mythological animal in in so many mythology we find that Uh, in hills there are jemon uh, america ya ache ekta mythological animal bigfoot amader uh, india er khetre indian mountains e bola hoy it's a uh, it's a, this animal which is like a walk like a mountain bear it's great and uh, looks like a gorilla or much like a, a very uh, human being covered with fur okay so it is also a part of it can be considered as a part of supernatural you know because either uh, near onik meets chalu ache ado ache kina no living trace have been found tibet lhasa monastery te nepal er kichu monastery te kichu hard gore pai chap chap per photo tule rakha ache kichu lom rakha ache but on a kid play there are so many debates whether they exist or not you know when i am to the bulbo those who are who can read bengali literature you may read kaka babu yeti obhijan do not watch the movie please do not watch the movie the movie is one of the worst representation of literature if you read yeti obhijan you can have so many references regarding the research that has been done on it okay yeah. and also there is another by somaresh bosu you know somaresh uh, bosu na somaresh mojumdar somaresh mojumdar er orjun bole ekta detective character ache pur ekta novel ache you know amriter putro and that also amriter putro konnara eta noy kintu seta sunil gongopadhyay but amriter putro bole onar ekta orjun er ekta ache and yeti obhijan kaka babu eta sunil gongopadhyay ei dutu part jodi poro tomader bhashay you will find so many interesting things regarding the yeti meat so yeti is also part of the supernatural but here the way it has been represented uh, the way it has been taken the yeti from meat the animal has been taken to ground reality directly and uh, there is nothing supernatural that is added with this animal but it is a part of the supernatural it is a part of the myths because a natural world hai amra yeti er kono existence ekhono pai ni yeti is a fictional animal till now but the way it has been represented here the way the yeti has been grounded it is so realistic okay eta kintu yeti representation er shomoy mention korttei hobe je mythical ekta animal jar kono proper representation ekhono paoa jay ni but if you Uh, find it you will find that uh, yeti kintu uh, motamoti uh, mane marattok bhabe ekta mythical animal and uh, sheta representation ta ekhane khub realistic khub ground reality and then you suddenly find that this is also behaving like uh, other animals which naturally do uh, this animal is trying to protect chang you know khub uh, lonely ekta animal prothom kotha but moreover he is not eager to kill okay khawar ene dicche biscuit ene dicche okay protect korche but while chang wants to go to the human beings chang jokhon human beings er jonno clues rakhche 
the whole thing that the yeti is coming into the way of his plans why because the yeti doesn't trust human beings the yeti doesn't trust with his precious possession he doesn't trust the human beings with it he knows that chang is a human being but he also knows that he has saved chang and he doesn't want to let chang go to the human beings who are really cruel because the other animals only have found human beings as hunters you know as killers jodi prithibir somosto pranira kotha bolte parto na we would have become the most mal reputed disreputed species the killer species okay so chai jayega theke look at the reaction of yet he doesn't even want a human being to fall in the hand of other human beings as if the human beings are cannibals ei ekta jaygay dariye ami toder bolbo ektu aguntuk bole ekta cinema dekhte আগন্তুক উৎপল দত্তের একটা ডায়লগ আছে সেটা যদি কখনো শোনো সেখানে দেখবে উৎপল দত্ত নিজে বলছে উৎপল দত্তকে বলা হচ্ছে যে আপনি ট্রাইবাল সাপোর্ট করেন উৎপল দত্ত হ্যাঁ আমি ট্রাইবাল সাপোর্ট করি তখন বলছে যে তাহলে কি আপনি ওদের ক্যানিবালিজমটাকে সাপোর্ট করেন উৎপল দত্ত বলছে যে আমি ক্যানিবালিজমকে সাপোর্ট করি না কারণ আমি সভ্য মানুষ আমাকে ক্যানিবালিজমকে সাপোর্ট করা যায় না যেখানে একজন ট্রাইবাল ডাইরেক্টলি বলতে পারে আর একজনকে যে আমি তোকে মেরে খেয়ে ফেলব কিন্তু আমাকে কোনটাকে সাপোর্ট করতে হয় সভ্য মানুষ বলে আমি এক লফতে একটা অ্যাটম বোম ফেলে একটা গোটা দেশের সমস্ত মানুষকে মেরে ফেলতে পারি সো কিলিং হিউম্যান বিং অ্যাট ওয়ান বাটন প্রেস কিলিং আ মিলিয়ন অফ হিউম্যান বিং আ ট্রিলিয়ন অফ হিউম্যান বিং অ্যাকর্ডিং টু Utpal Dotto is much an act of uh, rather horror than cannibalism. Cannibalism is like a terrific, a horrific. You may act a button to pay in full mind you are killing thousands of them, lakhs of them, one throws of them. While in cannibalism, they kill one people and eat their flesh what you do you kill lakhs you kill millions what happens after killing does it matter whether you eat them or you do not it doesn't matter what matters is whether you kill or not cannibals are going to eto eto kore marte pare na je bhabe civic society er lokera na so you can look at this the same comparison can be brought here নিজেদেরকে and that's why the yeti ekhane kintu mushkil ta je the yeti is one uh, is wanting to be a friend with chang or uh, to serve him with all the comforts he can afford the yeti can afford but chang cannot communicate with him because they are two different species they cannot understand each other or even their nature does not allow to adjust with one another but still from the part of the yeti considerations of friendship are shown and look at the last part as this uh, i i i i would like to end with the last page of this book uh, look at this a good bye from the yeti chat now he is alone again until if someone from an expedition managed to catch him so look at this the way tintin is 
speaking to chant the et is alone kotokpon of the alone they have left the et at its place they haven't fought it they haven't engaged it but there are chances that tintin is saying that until if someone from an expedition man okay uh, so dear students i am uh, making this part of the video uh, just to speak about the part of the section of the class that was missed due to the interrupted connection i hope this time it will not happen so uh, just uh, i'm going to uh, present the screen again uh, okay so let me uh, let me just show you what what happens just in the end of it let me present this You know, uh, let me share this with you. This part, move it to the last one. But the way I say it, uh, that what was ultimately this, uh, this, uh, this animal, this Yeti was there. The first thing is that Yeti is a mythical animal. No one has proved the existence of Yeti yet. And uh, the way Arj has brought it seems very realistic. As if Dr. Ali, you know about supernatural, also mentioned about Yeti. This Yeti came to know natural existence, to know proper existence. Arj, but there are some monasteries where some remnants of Yeti has been kept. If you read Kaka Babu and Yeti, or any Kaka Yeti or Vijan by Kaka Babu, or some of the old Jun character, they just have some of them in there. Uh, so if you, if you read this, you can have uh, some uh, enlightenment regarding the Yeti myth and uh, how researches have been done. But in reality, there are no strong evidence about the existence of this animal. Uh, it is yet to be found and it is still a mythical animal like the Bigfoot in America, okay? Uh, an ape-like uh, ape animal uh, who roams in the wilderness of the Himalayas. So, and it is thought that Yeti is a representative of them, David, as the Blessed Lightning held. But here we find that this Yeti is protecting them, you know, and this Yeti thinks that human beings are really the worst kind of animals. If animals could talk, we would have become the most disreputed human beings. They are go bullet him. And she died idea, you know. Uh, the ending is very interesting. Look at this. A goodbye from the Yeti Chang. How now he's alone again under someone from an expedition manages to catch him. So look at this. What a combo jump is the Yeti is alone until someone from an expedition manages to catch him. So they're always related with catching and hunting and killing. And you know uh, what Chang is saying that I hope they never succeed in finding him. They will treat him like some wild animal. I tell you, Tintin, from the way he took care of me, I could not help wondering if he found he had a human heart. So Chang is comparing him to the humanness, humanity, humanness, human power, human kindness. But Tintin is questioning this very question. Who knows? Are we even worthy of being compared to the kindness of the Yeti? Are we, as a species, are we not going to kill the others? Maybe Yeti is better than us. So that's where it ends. And look at this how symbolic the representation of this comics are at the end. Uh, this Yeti is looking, by, looking uh, at the way where uh, Chang is. Just going away, moving out, and the place where he is standing is colored gray. The whole uh, surrounding is gray. 
or light brown. These are the colors signifying status. So this is very interesting, the way in which of the way of this thing started. So here we end discussing the garden. Uh, the friendship. In the next class, we will speak about the representation of nature. Okay. In the next class, we will speak about the representation of nature in painting or how nature works. And with that, we will end our discussion on this and we will begin a very interesting story about a very interesting person called Edgar Allan Poe. And you know, the Shesh very newly written portion uh, I would advise you people to listen to the way the poor of the And there he has used poor in a very interesting way. And I'll put a poor life from for the Jantar interest on the editor. So while we will speak about poor, we will talk about. Uh, different things, different needs, uh, different uh, uh, interesting things regarding food, with life, rumors. Uh, uh, only one class, we will dedicate one thing to one more class than the last class. Okay, so goodbye for now. Thank you.